Now we are working new developments on a Cranston charity scheme. Two men accused of collecting unauthorized donations at the St. Mary's Feast in Knightsville. One of the suspects was arrested right away. The second suspect turned himself in this weekend and appeared in court today. New at 6, we're hearing from the Cancer Resource Foundation. Police say they pretended to represent. Iowa to Sue's reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live from the mobile newsroom. Mike, I asked the office manager of that organization if she could describe this alleged crime in one word. What would that word be? Her answer to me, pitiful. Before these men set up an unauthorized collection table at the St. Mary's Feast, they dropped into the Gloria Gemma Breast Cancer Resource Foundation office in Pawtucket. He kept saying it was all about awareness. Carol Donnelly, a survivor and the organization's office manager, spoke with them because they told her they wanted to help with fundraising. When he left, I had said to the executive director who was with me, you know, something doesn't feel right. Police say her gut feeling was spot on. Another survivor was at the feast that evening, noticed the alleged scammers and alerted Carol and police. Alan Pont was taken into custody right there. Matthew Murphy turned himself in Sunday evening. Carol calls it a pitiful crime, but she says this isn't really about the money. My concern is they were talking to a lot of people. Mary, St. Mary's Feast was very busy and a lot of people probably got a lot of bad information. We survive on the generosity of the community and we don't want people to um, shy away from giving. According to court records, the men collected $214.06 before they were caught. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.